My name is Terry. I'm with my partner Ash, mum Tracy, dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan. We are leaving our hometown of Middlesbrough for a new life in France. To restore this beautiful 18th century castle. From living in caravans during winter to tackling years of neglect, keeping her dry, discovering more about its past, and bringing it back to its former glory. Not forgetting Louis, Sasha, and Patrick. This is Chateau de La Lasalle. So welcome to this week's video. Um, we've gone down a different route this week. Normally Terry tells us what he wants and we kind of make sure that we fit it in with our schedule, don't we? Yeah, but we thought we'd uh, we'd give him a week off from his uh, from his sort of uh, little dictator role. So we've yeah. uh, we sort of got a surprise planned for him. Um, Hopefully it'll turn out, otherwise we'll feel like a bit of a fool, really, yeah. won't we? Well, it's not just that, it's, the weather's going to be lovely this week, we've heard, so... Yeah. Um, if, if it's anything like it said it's going to be, it's going to be a, a warm one. Yeah, uh, and I think it's uh, it's time to, to crack on and do some of the things that we've talked about for long enough now yeah. that the weather's breaking, so... Well, we've been stuck inside, we've done a few jobs inside, it's now just getting out there while the weather's hot, make hay when the sun shines. Yeah, I mean, we've got to keep that, keep the mix of, of what we're doing inside with what needs doing outside yeah. and uh, and a bit of fun as well. Yeah, so this week is a complete surprise. Um, we've made a, a little um, collage um, of what we're going to do. Um, so we're going to send that over to Terry, Tracy and Jonathan. I think they're going to be joined by my parents as well this week. They've gone up there for hopefully some nice weather and a barbecue. So yeah, we'll, we'll send that over to them and we'll we'll um, see how we're going to get on. I will warn you, there's male nudity or there's likely to be male nudity this week because we're predicted temperatures in the 20s. Yep, and so, I can't, can't just help myself. The shirt will be off. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, probably mine will be as well. Start that summer tan off. So we all ready for the video? Yeah. See what's going on next week? Yeah. 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 Um, this this is for you this week. So hiya, Tracy, Terry, Jonathan. Um, this this is for you this week. Um, we want to do something nice and surprise you for Easter coming up, didn't we? Yeah. Well, with the Easter theme and uh, not being able to do a, an egg hunt back at home for Jonathan, we thought um, we could do a real one over here. And uh, yeah, when he gets and, over. And um, we'll be in practice by the time he gets here. So. Uh, we'll do some filming tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, well, Easter Sunday, yeah. And um, and uh, see if uh, we find eggs before he does. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Let's surprise them. Here's the surprise for you guys. Well, it's not that big a surprise. I'm sure if they're really, uh, if they're really been racking the brains, we'll have worked it out. Yeah. But um, yeah, we're uh, back, 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 back. Don't know what we're going to do really. Um, <laughs> what do you think okay, it is? Yeah. We're gonna uh, we're gonna reinstate the chicken shed, obviously. That's the uh, that's the that's the name of the game for this week. So we're gonna knock a little compound out using some of the po fence posts we've been saving. Um, it's all gonna be homegrown. Put a fence up, a little gate on. Um, open up the top of donkey's uh, donkey's house for for a, a coop for them. And um, and then we've got a couple of options for for sourcing some. Uh, some nice uh, chickens and off we go yeah absolutely so we've got some we'll have fresh eggs by the time you get over ready and hopefully they'll all be learned by them won't they? yeah yeah um yeah we'll get uh we know we can get different sizes so yeah hopefully so yeah. we'll get a mix and uh and and um and then when jonathan comes he can start naming them properly because i'm sure we'll start making some names for them that'll be very inappropriate <laughs> <laughs> good talk it's that's your surprise guys i'll show you some little snippets of what we've been up to and then uh, yeah enjoy chicken coops that's the old chicken coop So as we've never been able to get into this chicken coop, we had That's no idea what it was going to be until yesterday, it was just covered with rambles, wasn't it? Yeah, we stuck our head in um, 
Luckily, you went in, not me. <laughs> otherwise, I'd if it was you, you'd have been in with a donkey, mate. I'd be on traction by now, yeah. Um, so the floor in this side must be better. So today we're off for our chicken hunt. Yeah, we're going to release them into their new environment and uh, let them have a look about. Chickens. See all the new things that we've got. <laughs> Chicoletta. Oh, there's some colours as well. Chicoletta. Mm. <laughs> That's the end. It's all done. Oh, oh so we're getting chickens. Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Chickens! <laughs> <laughs> so here we are down the end of the chicken coops in Orangery, and this is going to be our job this week, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've got uh, we've got a lot of uh, clearing out to do in preparation for making a, a chicken run in front of it. Um, we're going to use one part of the of the rug space. We've had a quick look. We think the, the small side might be okay, but we haven't double checked yet. So either way, we'll get uh, one of them. Both of them have got doors on, so we we'll, we don't have a big problem. No, we'll, we can get into them both. It's just yeah. a case of seeing which one's going to be better for the chicks, yeah. isn't it? Clear in, clear it out, and um, and then just strip all of the uh, strip all the brambles from the front. Yeah, and the reason we've come down here to film is while we were. Um, perusing the area. Yeah, just um, we've got this. There's a there's a funny little opening uh, into some sort of a channel that runs. It's behind actually behind the Arandri wall, um, but it's got a full roof, uh, yeah. and it looks like it goes quite some way. Look, I can see about twenty foot in there, and it's it's yeah. a good size, isn't so, it? So yeah, I'm not sure what uh, we're not sure what it is. Um, if you think I'm going in there, you've got no chance, mate. Well, there might be a, there might even be a snake in there. And I might <laughs> <a spider. laughs> but uh, but yeah, so um, I mean, obviously the task for the week is to uh, is to get all of this cleared off and uh, and get some prep done. Well, we've only got two days really, so yeah. it'll have to be a busy two days. Luckily, the sun's out today. This morning uh, it's looking good, and uh, next two days are going to be uh, going to be the same. So yeah. we'll, uh, we'll we'll save uh, this one for another video, can we? Yeah, we can have another look um, and, uh, and and find a, a big torch. So all we need to do now is uh, is get some fence posts in and um, and get a fence up. Then we can finish off inside and uh, get ourselves to market. Yeah, well I'll get to, I'll clear out some of the, the muck from in there. So yeah, you've got some fence posts in and then we can come together and get it all up. Yeah, it's not too bad in there. Yeah, um, no, just a bit of hair. So we'll have to do a little bit of a uh, closing of the gap. If we, if we can make enough space in there to get the camera in, we can, uh, we can show you how cosy it'll be for the uh, for the little chickens. Yeah, keep everyone happy. Yeah, can't wait. Fresh eggs for breakfast, so yeah. uh...
So as we've never been able to get into this chicken coop, we had no idea what was inside of it. Um, up until pretty much yesterday, it was just covered with rambles, wasn't it? Yeah, we stuck our head in um, and saw the big hole in the floor. Um, so my thought was we'd use the one next door. Yeah. But um, luckily you went in, not me. So <laughs> otherwise, I'd have, if it was I'd, you, you'd have been in with a donkey, mate. I'd be on track by now, yeah. Um, so the floor in this side is much better. Yeah, solid. So, so. Yeah, so that was a no-brainer. Um, it's a bit bigger anyway, but we can uh, we can turn around to whatever we want. Found but, all these amazing things, though, haven't we? Yeah, unbelievable. The amount of uh, I suppose people thought it was junk at the time, but there's some history here. Yeah, but well, we hadn't we hadn't we'd been in, but we hadn't actually had a look, had we? So just a case of putting our head in to have a look so, and see what was what. We found this old um, jute sack that has some information and writing on. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it in this light, but we'll try and get it cleaned up so you can see it. Um, it's just a, it looked like a transport sack with a, an address on, a Paris address on. Yeah. It'll have been an old grain sack yeah, probably yeah. from uh, when they had chickens Probably, yeah. So again, it, it, lucky it nearly went on the fire. Terry would have murdered me. Yeah. Uh, got an old witch's broom. Yeah, well, I've always fancied learning to fly, so I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. No, it was, it was strange just to see it though when you walk in and you just see that, don't you? Yeah. It's a bit crazy. Bubble, bubble. Yep. Yeah. Um, we found loads of uh, magazines. Some of them are in awful condition, some of them are in, in pretty good condition. Um, well, these the, are uh, dating from 71 to 74. Yeah, so they're older than you. Yeah, way older than me. So, no, it's really almost good. Almost as old as me. So, be interesting to have a look through them, see what's going on. Yeah. We've obviously found this old basket, um, this old wicker basket here. Um, found the sign as well, didn't we? Which was a, oh, this is a very strange, strange one. Yeah, most um, peculiar, yeah. So it's for a Bouchelli. No, no, that's the right way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For a Bouchelli, probably we'll go this way and I'll, we'll bring it in. Uh, I'll bring it all in. So Viande Premier Choice. Um, and Wales. Well, well, yeah, so that must be the name because it's at both ends. So. Yeah, yeah. Bouchelli Voile. Yeah. So yeah, a bit um, interesting. It's got uh, the mark uh, done by Philippe Languin Flair. So we'll be able to research that and someone will turn out to be some local from. artist yeah. or uh, celebrity. So if anyone from the local area knows where this was originally from, if you, if you want to let us know, that would be brilliant. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got a nice little... Well, yeah, this is a... A usable object. It certainly is. Um, I'm not sure how old it is. Um, it's got a nice cork on the top, which uh, which will be difficult to uh, to get out and to replicate. But yeah, it's a, it's a big old demijohn and the old glass you can see how it's been tapped into shape can you, you can see all the bevels yeah, and everything it's in been it. blown and, and man, manually uh, formed uh, forget it was just hidden in the corner with the cover on it when i went up to it i didn't know whether it was a bird cage or what it was when i uh, when i found its glass and it's in one piece yeah there might be some marking somewhere but i doubt it because it's probably that old that yeah. uh, it was before sort of manufacture as such yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll keep going through huh? see, see if we find any more but it was just nice to to see some of the little bits wasn't it and yeah uh, and find some of the little things in there so we'll see yeah. if we can find a out a little what. railway signs as well oh yeah yeah I forgot all about them so a little so you get that one i'll get this one yeah, as if as if they've been off a little garden railway at some point um, yeah. well, we obviously did... been battery wired up i would think yeah. with, with lights well we used to have the railway so... go across the bottom of the land didn't we around the corner yeah so i don't know whether it's anything just they've kept it for nostalgia possibly yeah i mean the wiring looks a bit domestic rather than industrial but yeah um but yeah, um, really strange. Again, really if anybody funny. knows anything about uh, having a toy toy train running around the gardens here, yeah, or any idea where they've possibly out. come from, yeah. Brilliant. We'll keep going. Yeah, onward and upward. So today we're going down to Le Fetti Massey to have a look for our chickens. We've heard there's a, a vendor down there. We're with our friend Tanya. Hi. But we're going to need as a translator because our French has just got awful still. <laughs> so we're going to go do that, see what we can get. And Tanya knows where we're going as well, which yeah. is another big one. Yes, yeah. always helps. <laughs> sat nav, sat nav in France, you get a postcode and it could take you within 10 square mile of it. So absolutely great. So you're going to point us in the right direction, yep. aren't you? Sure, man, to get to La Fete Marseille. <laughs>
So we managed to get to Laferti Massey. Um, Tanya manages to get us all the way here. Yes, yes Sam, no trouble. No, no <laughs> wrong turns, nothing at all. So we can see the lady in the car park. We're going to go and grab our chickens and um, yeah, see what she's got. Yeah, hopefully she'll have a, a fair selection because we want to try and mix it up a bit, don't we? Rather yeah. than just have all of one type. So I like all the little fancy ones, some of the like little nice ones little and some colours. different. Yeah, something coloured. Or we'll see what she's got. Different ages as well. Or even so, better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, mix it up. ourselves 12 chickens four ready for laying and eight are a little bit younger but i would say it's a successful day yep great now we just have to uh sail the chick to the new home yeah we're going to release them into their new environment and uh, let them have a look about see all the new things that they've got to pick on and here we go <laughs> Here in the new home, and uh, hopefully we'll have eggs straight away, won't we? Certainly, yeah. Uh, looking forward to breakfast tomorrow. So it's the chickens' first night in their new home, so we're just going to check, make sure that they're, they're all okay, uh, and let them out for the day. Yeah, we haven't quite got the door finished yet, so yeah, that's going to be the work today, getting that sorted. Some noise is going on. Yeah, 12 healthy chickens after a night at uh, the first night at Le Chateau. Um, no eggs yet, but we'll, um, I'm sure they'll start coming when they settle in. Yeah, I'll take them a day or two, I'm sure. Yes. But uh, at least they're hungry, that's a good sign. Yeah, hungry, running about, and uh, we'll even enjoy the day, you know.
Well, it's been a good week. Yeah, um, cracking week really. Uh, luckily, all our plans sort of uh, fell into place. Uh, yeah. Folk back home are all happy, which is a, a nice bonus because we're always a bit worried it might fall flat. <laughs> yeah, didn't know we were going to get murdered. But we've been doing jobs in the shop as well, haven't we? And in the cottage, it's been a yeah. good week for getting loads done. Yeah, we've had a good week of uh, good week of, of working on all fronts really. Um, yeah. Some outside work sorted out. Obviously, the chickens uh, was the was the big uh, the big thing. Yeah. Um, but it was area we wanted to clear anyway, so it was a it was a double bonus. Yeah, it had to be done. And, and then yeah. the fact those two running about half naked in there scaring the chickens is probably well. Yeah, it scared them into <coughs> uh, a couple of good nights' sleep though. Yeah, so yeah. it worked. It scares them in the night, so it's all good. But no, hope you've enjoyed it. We hope Terry and Tracy and Jonathan enjoy what we've done and, and they'll appreciate it when the Gary are won. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll have it finished by then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all good. We're, we've been getting people asking us what, how can you keep up in between? We've got a Facebook page, um, we've got the Instagram page and you can also follow our progress on Chateau Chronicles as well. So keep up to date and like, share and comment, get in touch with us, tell us what you think and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode.